Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. First things first, I want to apologize for that video last night. I don't watch my videos after I make them. I need to start doing that. That echo came because there was a slight echo on when I recorded it. I did a little voice booster, and so it doubled the echo. My apologies. I don't like to delete videos because I like to show my flaws. But anyway, let's get into the video we have at hand. Now, Lil Dirk, hide your Glocks, hide your chains because the feds are watching. The feds been raided the old block since last year. Vaughn was still alive, actually, when the feds raided the old block. The feds responded to Lil Durk's house shooting. The feds showed it up, showed up for FBG Duck case in um, Illinois. And then Timo was actually raided by the feds earlier this year. The feds is not playing with the whole BD camp. Not the BD camp, because it's BDs that you don't hear about. But with the whole OTF O block camp. The feds have been watching for over a year. They got a lot of evidence built up. And when the feds come, they don't just come get you with the first look of evidence they have. They build wiretaps. They do get surveillance. They um go through your phones. They do all different types of stuff. And they let you actually, they let Big Meech get money before they locked him up. They let Big, Big Meech earn like about another million before they came to get him. Came to get him. Now, they actually could have got him when they first got evidence, when, he, when people first started flipping state. But they didn't. It, you know, you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? So more of the story is what I'm trying to say. is f Even though it looks like a, a big coincidence with Timo getting arrested right after the whole old block raid. But honestly, the feds been watching Timo since he was putting switches in his videos. When he was putting all them switches in his videos, I remember fans in the comment section saying, Hey, Timo, slow down. Right after that, he got raided. He deleted all his old pictures. But something that I'm seeing too. With him saying in his bio, he changed that. It used to be 30 Boy Timo OTF. Then he took the OTF out the bio. Now, rappers, I understand what y'all saying, Rico. Rico, you digging, you reaching, talking about another man's bio on Instagram. But listen, these rappers take sharing their mixtape very seriously. They take tagging them on Instagram very serious. So trust me, they take every aspect of social media very serious. So if another man takes his label boss out of his bio and says, I'm an independent artist, that lets you know he was dropped. Him and Lil Durk probably haven't been seeing eye to eye since the solo key situation, but who really knows what's going on behind the scenes? I can tell you this for a fact. I don't think Mimo and Timo are OTF anymore. Timo still got the OTF chain because that's one of his only chains. You seen in this video, he got another chain, but he wasn't really showing that to the camera, possibly because it's foo. Now, I haven't seen him wear it either. When rappers only got one chain, they tend to even wear that chain regardless if they still cool with their label uh, made or not. Just like with Wizard, uh, Wiz the Wizard, he still wore his Sniper Gang chain, but he was asking to be let out of the Sniper Gang contract because they know that chain is real and authentic. They want to hold on to it. And if, in this Timo case, honestly, I think with Lil Durk, everybody around Lil Durk getting, you know, getting... Getting the having some type of fed involvement, like right now, they saying Los from O Block is snitching, and that's possible. Who knows? But if everybody around you, Lil Dirk, is getting some type of fed involvement every day, they getting hassled by 12, and then they get locked up for some serious stuff like this. Like, trust me, Timo locked up for some, for some Glocks, I just guarantee it. And it's time for you to be careful. But then it is leave people that's not me. I don't believe Lil Durk is a snitch or with working with the feds. But when you see everybody around you crumbling, the fans get to speculate like, man, either this dude a real goat and how to move and know how to move in these streets, or he acting feds. But just Lil Durk, keep your head up, watch out, don't invite no new no new people in your circles. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.